Hello there. In this video, we are introducing a very new feature called Icebreakers. What you are seeing on the screen is called the Icebreaker. If there is no any previous conversation with a business on WhatsApp, these little messages will appear. So that the user don't need to type a message to start a conversation with the business. They just need to simply tap the messages to send the message. In Librami, when you start a conversation with an icebreaker message, we can define different chatbots to trigger form. So let's see how we can implement this feature. To create the icebreakers, first you need to log into Librami panel and then navigate to the fourth menu called channels and then navigate to the automation. There you can see the icebreakers. Here simply click on the edit button there you can see the icebreaker pop up. Here you can see a preview how it will appear on the WhatsApp and these are the messages you can edit. So right now I have already added some icebreaker. There is a limit of four icebreaker you can add. If there is no any messages added, you can simply just click on the add icebreaker and add a button for example. Sign up for a free trial like this. So if you want to change the order, you can simply click and drag and change the order. Right now you can also see the preview here. So simply save in order to reflect the changes on your WhatsApp. Then when a user visit your WhatsApp number and there is no any previous conversation, this icebreaker will appear. Now let's see how we can further enhance this feature by triggering different chatbots. To do that, just simply go to the chatbot builder by clicking on the chatbot icon. I'm opening the test folder there. I have created plenty of chatbots. Let's create a new chatbot here. Here I am planning to start this chatbot when a user start a conversation with the icebreaker. So here after starting the conversation, I need to collect which message user have selected. To do that, use the input block test, drag and drop the text module to the canvas and connect the edge. And here I'm saving the input as an input variable. And then I can use the condition block to define the conditions. For example, just connect the edge with the group two. And here we can add a comparison, for example. Just select the input which we previously collected as the input. So which will be the message the user selected. So here it will be input and then select the operator. The operator will be its contain. So here let's see if I select here. Here in this message I would like to know the pricing. The pricing is the unique word. I'm copying that and saving pricing. So this edge will trigger when the user select this first message. And next, I would like to become a partner, for example. So we can drag and drop the condition module again, simply like this, and then add another comparison that will be input contain, again, the keyword partner. For example, if users select the pricing information, if they ask for the pricing, we can trigger a message with a link, for example. I'm using the link module here to send a message to the user, and then I'm pasting the message I predefined earlier, so that is, you can find the pricing on our website, click on the button below and the button I'm pasting the link to the pricing page and I can change the label here, view pricing and then next is partner keyword. So someone is looking to become partner of Librami as affiliate partner or uh, implementation partner. If they click on this message, I'm planning to send another message with a link. So that will be, you can install our partner app and earn a recurring 20% commission for lifetime. I can find the link from Librami affiliate page. You can find the more information about the affiliate program on this page. I'm copying and pasting the link here. And next, let's see it is how can I learn more? So the keyword here is learn. So in this case, I want to trigger a different chatbot. To do that, I'm using the condition block again to detect which message the user has selected. That will be input and learn It will be contained. So, so in this case, I can trigger a different chatbot to do that. We can use the chatbot module here. So simply drag and drop the module and connect this edge with the group five. So here it will display all the chatbots I have created on this folder. So for example, this is a different chatbot called MyFuel. This is for demonstration purpose. I'm just using this chatbot. And the another one is default case, which means if user didn't select any of this icebreaker and ended a message manually, we can trigger another message by triggering the default block. For example, that will be a default message like a text message we will get back to you shortly and this is a very basic chatbot i'm actually not defining much flaws here so you can find all these features to build a very advanced chatbot i'm just creating a very basic chatbot to demonstrate the feature now let's test this chatbot before testing the chatbot i'm giving a short code to this chatbot that is icebreak for example i'm giving a session duration of 10 minutes so after 10 minutes the chatbot will reset also i'm giving a name Ice break and then saving the chatbot. Now let's go back to the settings and set this chatbot as the default chatbot so that the, this chatbot will trigger when a user send this message. So that is 
ice break now let's test the shadow to test the ice breaker i shared my whatsapp on the screen and now i'm going to choose the ice breaker i would like to become a partner let's see it should trigger the group 4 yeah as expected the group 4 is triggered the link message is appeared now if i click on the click here button let's see yes it is going to the affiliate program page as we expected and now i'm coming back to the chatbot again and let's reset the chatbot okay i'm just resetting the chatbot and clearing all the messages again to trigger the chatbot again okay clear the chatbot and the icebreaker will appear again now this time i'm selecting this contained learn keyword so that will be how can i learn more so it should trigger entirely a different chatbot let's see if i select it here as expected, it triggered an entirely different chatbot and I can try that chatbot. So it is working fine. Here we are creating edges based on some conditions to define flows. To do that, we have used the condition block. Uh, there are more features within this condition block like other than contained, there are like he said equal to, not equal to, greater than. There are plenty of comparison conditions here which you can use to build a very powerful chatbot. So this feature is already live. Now you can log into Librami and create an icebreaker and let your customers start a conversation with your business soicely. And we will be releasing more features in coming weeks. Make sure you have subscribed to this YouTube channel to watch them all. Thank you.